Hi everybody, welcome to BI Land. You have probably already faced situations where your manager wants top end of a category, meaning that he needs to be able to choose different values like top 5, top 10, top 20, etc. for the ranking. Therefore, in this video, we are going to see how to get top X of a measure dynamically. Stay tuned. Here I have a model where I have oil statistics and also country dimension to get your production for different countries in different years. I have also some dimension tables. One of them is year dimension, right? What we want to know is to have a, a slicer here, among other slicers, probably, among region. Region means like Africa, North America, etc. To be able to select top 5, 10, 15, etc. And then our measure, which is oil production, to be calculated based on this selection. Meaning that if I choose top 5, I will have 5 countries here listed and ranked with the oil production. Right. So for doing this, I need to already generate values of the selection. For those values like 5, 10, 15, etc., I can use a calculated table with a simple function of generate series. We can do, of course, differently, but in this example, I'm going to use generate series. Let's go to data view. Here, I'm going to simply click on new table. And there, I'm going to call this top n, use generate series. Generate series is going to give me series of numbers. It wants the start value, the start value is five. The minimum top that I want is top five. And the end value, I probably would like to have 50 top. It's a big number, but let's say, let's imagine that we have that. And the interval is 5, which means 5, 10, 15, etc. Close parenthesis, hit enter, and now we have our values. So basically, we are going to put these values here in a slicer. I'm going to choose this a slicer. I'm going to make it drop down. Right? Now I have this a slicer. Basically, the manager wants to select 5, 10, 15, etc. And also, I would like to have another slicer, which is dimension of year. I'm going to put this here also, and slicer selection. I'm going to make it in slicer, and also I'm going to make it drop down, right? So we know that we can choose a year, etc. Let's say 2019, for example, right? And now I want to have the projection of the country. I'm going to bring the country from the country dimension. I'm going to make it like this. And then in my measures, I have oil production, which is simply the sum of oil production from my table, right? Now I have like for 2019, this oil production, right? For different countries. This is kilo barrels per day, but we don't care about the numbers and units for the time being. Now, if I want to choose 5, 10, 15, I want to see only like 10 countries here, right? How we can do this? To do this, I need to create a measure that is able to rank my 5 countries, 10 countries, etc. So let's create a measure taking into account this top five that I need to put here. And actually for values, we can change the name here. And instead of calling this value, I'm going to change this value top n. Easier to read the slicer. And let's create a measure. So new measure. In this new measure, which I'm going to call rank top n, I'm going to say, I'm going to use variables. I have other videos about variables. Don't hesitate to go have a look. Variable top n. Here I'm going to say 
because I want to get the top end from my slicer, I need to introduce into my calculation. For that, I'm going to use selected value, which means that it's the selected value of of the table that my values are, right? That is top end. This is basically selecting top end values from my table, right? From there, I'm going to use return. So return. What we want to return? First of all, I have other videos where I use the function like has found filter, not is blank. I want to only return if my country code has found value. So if it has one value or one filter, we can put both of them of the dimension of the country. Then I would like to add another condition where I say that if the oil production is not empty, right? I don't want the oil production to be empty because it could happen that your top 10 in a, in a specific region, you only have five countries, right? And the, if you choose top 10, the number from six to 10 is going to be empty. But if it's empty, I don't want to bring it. Let's for the time being not put this condition. I'm gonna put it after so that you can see what difference it's gonna make, right? And after that, I'm going to use switch function. Whenever we have a selected value from slicer, we can use switch function. I have other videos on my channel where I explain switch function. Go watch them if you're not familiar with the function. I'll put the links below. So I'm going to use switch function. And for the expression, I'm just gonna use true. And then I'm going to say, I want to rank. There are, of course, other ways to calculate top end. In this video, I'm going to use rank function, right? Because we are going to iterate for each country and compare each country to list of the countries for the oil production, I need to have the iterator, right? And for having iterator, I need to have rank X, right? What table we are going to iterate over? I'm going to use dimension country, right? Because dimension country is related with the relationship with the, my fact table, which is the oil production, the F stats oil. So we have already a relationship between the two tables. Basically, it's a country code that is bringing the country. I'm going to iterate all the, on the country code, right? But for the table, I cannot just put a country here because the problem would be, because we are iterating, it would be iterating each country by itself if I don't use all or all selected function, right? For that reason, I need to either use all function or all selected function, all function or all selected function. One of the use of these functions here is that it's going to clear out all the filters inside this expression, right, from the table, which means that when I'm iterating over a country to calculate the production of the country, it is going to get the each country compared to the whole list of countries. That's why I'm using all function. But using all function is not really clever because all function is going to remove filters from outside also. Removing filters from outside means that if I have another, like imagine a slicer of the region, if I put a region slicer and I want my top 10 to be dynamic according to the region selected, for example, Africa. If I select Africa, I want my top 10 to be in the Africa, right? I don't want to bring from Asia for this top 10. For this reason, I need to use all selected. All selected keeps the explicit filters from the outside, right? So let's use the all selected. And for the all selected, I'm going to use then dimension of the country because our table that we are showing oil production is the country code, right? And our expression is oil production. It's already a measure of oil production in our measure table. This rank X, I want it to be smaller or equal to my variable top N, right? So the rank X is going to iterate and it's going to have the list of the countries where the ranking is below the ranking that we have chosen, below the number that we have chosen in the slicer as top, right? In that case, the result would be the ranking that we are calculating, right? So I'm going to bring the same calculation rank X. Basically, I'm going to only copy this here. I've already written rank X, doesn't matter. I'm going to bring it here, right? 
I can close the parentheses and basically this is going to do it. Enter. And I'm going to bring the rank here. I need to choose a rank. Let's choose five. Then their ranking is empty. So I need to in the filters, make sure that the rank is never blank. So I filter and keep this filter locked. Now I'm going to sort this by rank and I'm going to sort this ascending. Now I have my top five countries from different regions, right? In year 2019, but I can choose another year. So I choose another year, then top five countries are different. And I can choose another top end, top 10 countries, right? Now I have top 10 countries. Top 10 countries of oil production in the year 1989, Russian Federation, US, Saudi Arabia, etc. I can change this to another year, 1999, 2001 etc. So basically it's dynamic and it respects all of the filters I'm putting here, right? And especially the importance was that we have used all selected to be able to use another filter from this table as well. It means that I can bring the region here, make this region as a slicer. And now I'm going to, let's make this drop down. And let's choose in my region, let's choose Africa, right? I have the Africa. It means that my top 10 countries in year 2003 is bringing only the countries from Africa, right? And if I use Asia Pacific, right? I have this problem here that I don't have the production for these countries and the ranking doesn't go up to 10. For some reasons, either I don't have the data or etc. Five, I have no problem, but if I choose 10, I have some problems. For that reason, and I see that like because of the empty oil production, the number nine continues to repeat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply change my rank function. I'm going to add here another condition saying that and not is blank oil production. Right? By doing this, I make sure that I don't have list of the countries where the oil production is zero or I don't have data. It's going to solve our problem. It's going to bring only top, the maximum top that I have available in my country. Probably for your case, you have a lot of categories, clients, so you wouldn't have this problem. So let's go to Africa or even all regions. Basically, we reach our goal and now we are able to have our ranking, our top countries, let's say top clients, top categories, which is dynamic that I can choose different tops and also different years, different regions and all other filters. Yep, that's all for this time. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to watch my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon. Until then, take care.